Right, we've ordered us food. And will you stop swearing there's children around? There was no children when I swore. Well, stop swearing, because it makes you sound like a common chav. Are you happy, Nick? No. Aren't you pleasant? Anyway, Make sure you don't edit that out, so everybody knows what I've what I've a yeah. What's the matter with you? You're stressing me out. Let's eat. I don't think you're supposed to put bubbles in a bubble bath. It's a jacuzzi bath with bubbles. I've just added some bubbles. They're growing though. I can see the actual sink disappearing above the eye line. The eye line. <laughs> Will you get ready? Are you not supposed to put bubbles in there? No. So I'm full pelt and all. I'm like, let's put jets of like belt in there. Will you get ready? We're going out. How the hell am I supposed to get rid of these bubbles? It's half past ten. We're going to Falmouth. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. We've got all day. Come on. Right. We're out. Morning. We're out of the apartment, I'm out of the bubble bath. Didn't know you weren't supposed to put um, soap in a jacuzzi. I learned a lesson. It felt like I had to go before Nick were in. Mine didn't have any bubbles in. But it felt like I was hot tub. I think we no. should maybe get one of them for, for lunch. You know, didn't, didn't, didn't think that at all. So anyway, we're on our way to Falmouth now. Lee's driving for a change. It's going to be uh, 46 minutes before we get there. 21 miles. We've had no breakfast. Um, we are starting the diet today. Oh. Diet start today. We're starting a diet on holiday. I know. We're going to cut back slightly. So we're dieting. Until I see another piece of cheesecake. So we've no idea what's in Falmouth at all. I just know that there's a nice harbour and I want to see that. And um, One of our patrons has told us that there's a museum that has um, a, a room that's under the sea. So you can look out into the windows into the sea. Yeah. Very good then. So we'll have a gander. I'm leaving Lee to do all the research. I plan the places and get us there. Lee does all the research of when we get there. So let's see what he's got planned. Right, we're here in Falmouth. Is that a gin shop? A gin shop? Well, it's some kind of thing. Oh, Nick's found a gin shop, so he's off. Uh, I'll show you around where we are. So, this is kind of a funky little shopping area. We're looking for breakfast. Uh, there's a maritime museum there, which might go in because they've got Titanic stories. Ooh, Pizza Express. So, uh, You know what's really bad? What's really bad? When you come to something like this and you see a chain restaurant. Pizza Express. Muscling in on the independent. Well. I like to come here for independence, like independent fish restaurants, not friggin' Pizza Express slap in the middle of it. I'm hungry. And CC's next door. Let's Cece's. just go and have a look at the front and then we'll come back for um, some breakfast. breakfast. Can we eat now? Come on then. Right, so we're just walking along town. We're looking for somewhere for breakfast. Have you found us somewhere, Nick? Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. Ah, we sat down in the harbour above the um, the houses, just looking at, um, there you can see it better there, just looking across the bay of Falmouth. And um, Frodo Baggins there is picking out what he's having for breakfast. If you tomorrow, you'll end up in that lake. Look at you, just call you a greedy f shall I? Right, we've ordered us food. And will you stop swearing there's children around? There was no children when I swore. Well, stop swearing because it makes you sound like a common chav. Can you see the two baby chicks waiting for mum to come with uh, some food? Well, there's a fat chick sat in front of me waiting for food to come as well. How about you be nice today? I don't want to be nice. You should be. So they're waiting for their food. And this one's waiting for his food as well. Might you be nice today? Oh, excuse me, that wasn't not nice. You're waiting for your food? This one's waiting for his food. Mm. Well, this fat chick's waiting for his. Right, we're on the move again. Not Nick's impressed. not a happy bunny. Not impressed. <laughs> so the last cafe came out and said, oh, sorry, we'll give you the wrong menus. We're not serving breakfast now. We were serving when we sit down. So if you go into Falmouth, avoid Harbour View because the British pretty shit service, to be honest. So we're now punching around <laughs> somewhere to do breakfast. Right, so we're on the search again for brekkie. Right, we found a little snicket down to the harbour, hoping to get breakfast. Hopefully this video doesn't turn into the search for breakfast. Are you happy, Nick? No. Oh, you brought us into a car park. Let's go back to Newquay. I don't like family. Well, it's the first time I've ever had a salad for my breakfast. For my breakfast? For my breakfast. Oh, well, yeah. 
came out for breakfast. So that big lump of cheese on top. And we couldn't find anywhere that was still serving breakfast. So we've, we've had to have a salad for breakfast. That's a hard choice. Yes, it is. But I suppose we do need it once in a while. Right, so we've decided to give Falmouth a miss. Oh, well, we haven't given it a miss. Well, we've, we've, around it. we've had a look. Nice. This, this square's nice. Mm, yeah, if you it's want to check about out, you very can commercial. There's lots of, it's just basically a high street on the shore. It's just got like your, lots of your typical chain restaurants, chain shops and things like that. Nick's not ruined with that cafe. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll have ruined them because I've given my trip advice review accordingly. Mess with Nick's food, you mess with his mood. Yeah, mess with my food, you mess with my mood. Which affects my mood then. Yeah. So anyway, we had um, a beetroot salad in another cafe. It was cafe. very nice actually. Very expensive as well. It was £31 for two salads. I didn't expect to be having that for breakfast, but I did enjoy it. It was beautiful. It was delicious. A hot goat's cheese melt on top of beetroot and things like that. So anyway, we're going back to the car. We're going to go to a beach. I said that without moving a little chill. Yeah, we're going to go back to the beach that we that we ended up in yesterday when we first got to Nuki, when we were waiting for the Airbnb to open. And um, we've decided we're just going to go and get us towels, go lay on the beach and just drink beer. Lee's going to read and I'm just going to go on my tablet and chill out. Hey. Right, so we've been travelling about 20 minutes and I've just come up with the idea that before we get to um, Perrinporth Beach where we're going to go to the uh, the pub on the beach yeah, we is... we decided to go to another beach. It's not the one we were in yesterday. We haven't said that yet. Oh no, yeah, yeah. We've changed the mind twice. So, you know what we're like. So anyway, we're going to go to Perrinporth Beach which has got a pub called The Watering Hole smack bang in the middle of the, the beach. Um, we've been a few times before but it's always rained, hasn't it? Oh, it's rained. And typically, because we're on its way, the sun's gone in, the cloudy, but it's still very warm. It's like 20 degrees. But on its way, there's a, an ice cream parlour which we've been to in our previous new key vlogs. And um, as soon as I mentioned the word, you've had to call for an ice cream to Lee, he set the sat-nav to navigate. So I that's where we're going. This holiday, yeah, ice cream that I can remember. So we're going to Cattle Sticks Ice Cream Farm. Cattle Sticks. Cattle Sticks. Oh, Cattle Sticks. Cattle Sticks Ice Cream Parlour. Yeah. Farm. And um, they have, um, I think Sazzle's there, isn't she? We'll see. We'll see. Sazzle! Sazzle! Are you in? She's not in. Sazzle's not in. I've shouted her, but she's not come out. Sazzle! Maybe it's lunch. Maybe it's lunch hour. Beat you. You're always nasty to her. Maybe it's lunch hour. You've just told me to do that. You're the one that mentioned it on vlog before. Fine then. Let's edit this bit out then. Hmm. Right. So we're here again at Calastics Ice Cream Farm. What flavour are you getting? Something chocolatey. Oh, there's that cow there that you can milk yourself. Look. Right, let's go inside. Mm, don't be predictable. Don't. Mm. Never said a word. Ice cream, and if you don't like it, stuff it in your ass. Aren't you pleasant? Anyway, Make sure you don't edit that out, so everybody knows what a what a butternut. Yeah. Um, butternut. Butternut is it? It must be very what nice. Butterscotch. Butterscotch. Oh, I will try that actually. What? Thanks. Try it yourself. Yeah. Mm. And Hershey's triple chocolate at the bottom. Mm. I'm not usually a fan of Hershey's, but... Toast of coconut if you want to try that. I'm going to try my own, thanks. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Find out what you want me to do. <clears throat> Give up. Right, I'm off. Bye. Go on, see how good you are at it properly. Don't like you've done that before? You're a dab at teats. Give up. Right, we're back in the car. We've had a sugar fix. That was very nice, that. It was very nice. And um, Sazzle's actually come out now. You can't see her. She's just ahead of that car over there. We can't stop because there's another car getting out. So we're now going to go to the watering hole on Perrinport Beach. And the sun has completely gone. The sky is overcast, cast over. I'm sure if we'd have probably stayed in Falmouth, we'd have still had sunshine by now. No clear. So we're 13 minutes away. Today is just a, we feel like we've done so much in the last week. Go slow, there's a road here, go slow. Clear. Um, we feel like we've done so much in the last week that these, uh, yesterday and today, are more of a chill out day rather than a, 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 a vloggy day. Because a lot of this obviously we've been doing for you guys, as well as, well, we're, we're, yeah, we've been enjoying it ourselves. <laughs> but these last two days have been a bit of a, 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 a 
cool down day. Yeah, just a chill day. Just on a chill day. We, we, we think, because we've got extra days in Cornwall and Devon, we think of it as like a bit of a holiday now. Yeah. We haven't got any food plans today or anything. But we have tomorrow. We've got some plans tomorrow. What are they? We're going to St. Ives and we're going to St. Michael's Mount. Yes. Which we've never done before. We're going to use our National Trust membership to get yeah. into St. Michael's Mount. We've seen it loads of times, but we've never walked across. That'll be and it's. For, for people that don't know what St. Michael's Mount is, it's basically a castle on an island and the, the road to get to the island actually goes underwater every 12 hours when the tide comes in and the only way to get to it when the tide's in is to get a boat or if the tide's low you can walk on the path. So that'll be interesting to see very, what happens. Very interesting. Now so get us, to get us to the watering hole then and we'll see what that's like. Right, so we've got to Perranporth Beach and it's exactly as it was the last time we came. Dismal and dull. Huh? <laughs> we wanted to come here to experience it in the sun, but um, it's gone. So we're going to have a little drink, a little chill. Well, if it's all like last time, we couldn't even get a drink last time because it was that busy. Well, I, can, I think I can see some uh, seats at least. It's quite busy on the beach. Everybody must have flocked out when the sun came out for a bit. Did we not, was not coming in? It was gale force winds and we were yep. sat. At least there's no wind. Well, the sun might not be out, but it's nice to just have a little relax. It's very warm. On the beach, it is nice and warm. And uh, I won't mind stopping in those swanky apartments there. So we're just gonna have a chill here. I'm gonna read a little bit. Nick's gonna relax. And then we'll see where we end up next. Uh. Uh, nice snooze. Mm. Uh, you were talking in your sleep. What about? You said, I'm not putting it back now. I'm sure it did. It did. <laughs> oh, I suppose we should get ready. Come on, because I'm bloody hungry. I'm not getting changed, can't be bothered. That's fine. I'm not going to look at you. I'm going to eat. I'm going out in what I've got on. Whatever. I'll freshen up a bit. Clean my teeth. Those flights are too expensive. Forget that. Hmm? Oh, this is for tomorrow. Day trips to the Isle of Tilly. How much? £125 each. Uh, right, so we're off for a curry, yeah? Come on then. Come on then. What? 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 We've got food. We're an Indian. We're about to eat. What's the matter with you? He's stressing you. Let's eat. There you go, pudding. So five minutes ago, Nick was stuffed out of his head. And uh, so we called at McCall's news agent and got some sweeties. So we got out of there pretty quick, didn't we? Because Nick started having social anxiety. There was a sea threat. There was 30 people all talking at once and I could hear every single one of them. And I was stuffed and I just couldn't. I just had to get out there. So we left, didn't we? We we'll have to bought sweeties. Went to shop and bought some spice. Make yourself feel good. And now we're going to finish the vlog and watch some TV. And this, this light in here is very harsh. It's not your face. So tomorrow we're going to St. Ives. St. Michael's Mount. St. Michael's Mount. Um, which we've never been to before. Oh yeah. No, we've never been up here. It's too cheap and, and tight to basically pay to go on it. But now it's free because we've got some. Um, yeah, yeah. National Trust. That was well. So, if you haven't already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to become a lodger. Hit the like button, click the notification bell. Please don't chew in my ear as it sounds rank. You know when you're eating ice, crushed ice, when we're in, we're in restaurants, and all he does is crunch ice with his teeth? That's what it sounds like. See you tomorrow for a new vlog. Bye!